Hey guys, Stace here with your weekly extreme video update. I hope you're having a blast this week. A um, couple really quick things. I got, I got a couple things that I want to share at the end of this that are kind of important, but I, I want to make sure I hit all the details first. There, first of all, this Wednesday, there's a parents meeting. Uh, we're going to meet while extreme is going on. So you, you bring your kids to extreme. Uh, Allie Bruce is teaching this week at extreme. She's talking about week three of our close series. The big idea is that uh, we may move away from God over the course of our lives, but we don't have to stay distant. Uh, you can turn around and come back. And she's going to talk about that. And while she's doing that with students, uh, I'm going to meet with you. Kim and I are going to meet with you guys and, and talk a little bit about parenting and, and what we can do to partner together and where we believe Extreme is going. So uh, we'll have some refreshments and a time of Q&A and, and uh, get together and, and spend a little time there. The, there's a, a trip, uh, a meeting uh, to talk about our summer mission trip. The DR may not be available to us this summer. Uh, the week that we wanted to go might not work, but we're, we're working on that. But we are planning something for this summer. So uh, if you're interested in that, we're going to meet at 6 o'clock Wednesday night um, uh, out at Harvest Fields. Um, I sent home every week the, the parent queue that uh, it, it, there's a link in the email that I send every week. It's called the parent queue. It, it's a little bit of a, a talking sheet for you to go deeper with what we're talking about on Wednesday night. And when you click that link, it opens up to the parent queue. I don't know if you can read that, but it, it says we're teaching this. Think about this and then try this. Those are the three things. So it gives you an opportunity to take a little bit uh, to deeper look at home, at the things that we're talking about, may spark some good conversation. I hope that you use that. I hope it's beneficial to you. Uh, we're also sending home a student devotional each week for this close series. Um, so you might even ask your students, hey, did you click that and download that, that devotional that stays sent out? Uh, see if that's working for them. This weekend is Zateo. If your students are going to our winter retreat, uh, by now you should have all the information. Uh, Kristen has already sent out a link of what to bring, times, all that good stuff. So the waiver that, that we have to have on file is actually in this email as well. Click that and download that if you don't have it. Um, one of the big things that I wanted to leave you with this week comes from the my, my Bible time today. Um, the uh, Genesis chapter 42 is kind of get the middle of Joseph's story. Um, Joseph w was one of these, it's an incredible story. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. But uh, Genesis chapter 42, Joseph is in prison and he has been on this wild ride of God doing some incredible things in his life. And even in prison, it says that God was with him and the things that he did, he found favor with men because God was blessing him. Um, and God um, let him stay there for two years in prison. That, that's how chapter 42 opens. And it says, after two whole years, Pharaoh dreamed. And then you, you know the rest of the story. If you grew, grew up hearing the story, you, you know it. Um, God did something, but it, he waited two years. And that, that hit me this morning. I spent some time praying about what, why. God could have made Pharaoh dream, boom, right now. He could have turned things around, but he let Joseph stay in prison for two years. So I, I don't know how that hits you, but for me, um, I feel like God's saying, hang in there, hold on to the promises that I've given you, and, and don't give up. Because you never know when Pharaoh's going to dream and nobody's going to be able to interpret it except you. You never know when the breakthrough's coming, but if you quit, if you give up before you get to the breakthrough, you'll miss it. So hang in there. That's all I've got. Love your guts. Hope you're having a great week. If I can do anything to help you, to encourage you, to just let me know. Your, your kids need to hear your voice in terms of their spiritual development. That's the most important thing. So um, have something to say. Love you guys. I look for you Wednesday at the parents meeting. All right?